hello everyone good evening uh, today i am going to create a order processing system with the help of completable future and uh, well when i create the program we'll discuss uh, what and all features we have in the completable future so i'm going to create a class completable future example Let's create a main method and this is out main start and main end and process order. Uh, let's create a private static method. So uh, what? Uh, <coughs> okay. So what this order will do, it will accept a order ID that will be integer int generated order ID. Okay, so let me uh, generate the uh, random order ID with the help of a stream API that is available in the JDK 8 version. So stream dot generate and it accept a supplier functional interface so i'll uh, provide the uh, that lambda expression and that's the implementation of the supplier functional interface so uh, what uh, supplier functional interface do it will just uh, provide a, uh, supply uh, the output uh, and it is not accepting the any input so that's what I'm doing here I'm not uh, giving any input and I am expecting a random uh, uh, order ID so that's what I'm going to do new random dot next int so next int uh, so it's uh, we have two methods so I'm using this bound uh, overloaded method next int so let me just provide the uh, range so now what it will do it will just give me a random integer between 0 to triple nine and let me just limit it otherwise it will just keep on generating the number so i need 10 orders so that's what i'm doing so this line will generate a 10 random integer numbers so that I'm just assuming this is the order ID. Now let me just do the for each. So for each means it's a consumer functional interface. It will accept the uh, accept some input and it will process that input. So that's what I'm just. Uh, this is the generated order ID and what i'm going to do i'm going to just call this method with the help of this id that's it so uh, that uh, warning and all should be fine so here now this method has been called so here what i'm going to do <coughs> let me just sys out first that generated order id processing started now what I am going to do I am just going to create a completable future uh, dot supply async so supply async it is again the same thing it will supply the uh, supply uh, the whatever uh, based on the requirement to, it will just it won't accept anything it will just supply uh, objects or based on the need so similar what I'm going to do I'm going to just pass the same uh, let me just do it it is not required but just for the learning purpose I'm doing uh, return generated uh, order ID so now put or enter introduce local variable so this is uh, uh, 
I'll just name it order id runner or something like that so now we got this completable future instance here and what it will do whatever the generated id order id we receive same thing it, it will just return to us now let me do the order i this is again completable future and then i wanted to process those orders so what i'll do i'll do then apply then apply it will pick the uh, whatever the id uh, in we will provide to this function functional interface we can just process it so i'm using this uh, then apply and here uh, what we are accepting we are accepting the order id so order id how we are getting we are getting from the previous uh, uh, supply async method and here this is the function so what i'm going to do i'm going to just to if just some processing if order id to divided by g, uh, zero i'll return order with order id this delivered here else so i'm generating zero to triple nine so i'm just trying to create few scenario if order id is odd so here i'm checking even numbers and all so if order id is odd and greater than 900 i will while processing uh, uh, let's say some exception occurred so i'm doing throw new just uh, uh, for the example i'm throwing null pointer exception so here just pass a message so i'm passing the uh, this order id so string dot value of order id so and else what i'm doing order let's say order with order id not delivered uh, due to some reason so let's say reason code i'm just writing a new random dot next int just some uh, random reason code so that application can understand what's the reason okay so so we have three scenario while processing the order one is order successfully delivered with the order id and then not delivered and while processing we got some error so this is uh, what uh, this then apply will do so this is our order processor runner let me just name it order or maybe it's the order uh, order processor order processor runner so we got this now uh, we uh, while processing the order we got some exception so that's what we need to handle so let's say i am using here exceptionally so exceptionally what uh, it will do it will just pick the exception so let's say i got the exception so i won't do anything here i will just return the message that's it and same here let's say exceptionally exceptionally a thing let me just name it okay now uh, here all the exception will be handled otherwise what we are going to do we are going to send the notification so what we are going to do we are going to then accept so accept you can see here it will take a uh, come this consumer uh, functional interface 
so consumer what it will do it will whatever we are providing it is going to consume it won't return anything so here if you just uh, see here the supply i think it is returning here this then apply it is it is taking the function let me just okay um uh, better fine uh correct ha huh. now looks good okay so uh, i was trying to just explain that uh, there uh, this uh, then accept uh, it will take a consumer functional interface so it will take one input and it will process that uh, whatever input we are providing so we have this here you see we have uh, a string uh after processing the order this is the return type and here in the exception we handle the exception and we return a string so that's what i am just giving the name status so and here it is it won't return anything so what i am going to do i am just going to send the notification so i'll check if my status if my status contains any exception so i'll handle differently and if uh it is not if there is no exception what i'll do i'll just send the notification so notification sent to the user and the details of the uh, message what what the what is the detail whether it is delivered or not delivered but if order got failed uh, when during the process so what we are going to send notification send to the user uh, and we are just saying that refund processed refund processed okay so uh, here maybe you see here i'm doing the uh, get message so uh, instead of sending the entire exception to the end user i'm just going to uh, send the order id so let me extract the order id so string extract order id so here uh, when exception will occur i'm just sending the message exception message so what i'll do from this i'll just use sub string so null pointer exception if you count it will just 32 something so let me just extract it the id so notification sent to the user refund process for order id and this extracted order id after that we can also uh, failure detail failure details if you want to send you can also send the state okay so in that way uh, this got completed so and and here if you just extract the variable local variable or enter so what you see here it is void so it is not returning anything so let me name it notification runner that's it so now as out and here let me just try it processing started processing completed we'll see how it will behave processing and it fine and at the end only okay so yeah so here i'm generating some random order calling this process order method and this process order will again uh, processing all the generated order id with the help of supply async and then uh, whatever the id we receive we are going to process this id 
while processing either order got delivered or exception occurred or it is not delivered with the reason code again we handled the exception and after handling the exception we are sending the notification to the end user either uh, whatever the uh, status we have based on that we can process the uh, notification and then end. now we here you see we have not created anything related to thread uh, or uh, thread pool nothing so first let me run this and then we'll see okay so here you see uh, this 458 order processing started and this is delivered then again started delivered start and and then and, and uh, we are not we are not able to see other uh, status because this completable future all the it 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 uses the four join thread pool and it started and com it just started all the processing it gives all the orders to the completable future instance and just uh, main thread got completed so it is not blocking our main thread and now if you want to see what and all uh, if you want to just iterate all the status so what we can do here we can use this notification runner dot get here and let me just add some exception details uh, here also hmm. now let me run hmm. okay so now you see this 467 order got started but it is not delivered due to some reason then again 967 started but a refund processed for this order because there was some exception after the this, this 719 again not delivered not delivered not delivered but you see 188 it got delivered so you see uh, we have not created any thread pool or any uh, we did not implement any runnable callable and uh, this uh, completable future just handled everything uh, in a single method so this is out when if you want to learn so you can just try to just create a, a callable uh, uh, just try to implement callable and all and you see how painful uh, when you want to create using the callable so uh, yeah that this is it uh, uh, this is how you can uh, use the uh, Java 8 Lambda expression and this completable future. And uh, yeah, how it is using, so if you go here, supply async, you see uh, async pool. So here, this is using this fork join pool. So this is how internally uh, this uh, completable future using the thread pool, fork join pool and just process all the uh, order parallelly. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.